Are you looking for a meal that will impress your guests? We'll show you how to make a healthy restaurant quality dish that's on the table in minutes. Coming up next, I'm Marie Iommi and this is Lunch and Learn Live. Hi, I'm Marie, and this is Chef John Fleischman. Welcome to Lunch and Learn Live. Chef John is coming to us from Hot Olives right here in Winter Park, Florida, one of my favorite restaurants. Welcome. Thank you. Pleasure First, to be here. Well, thank you. First, I want to ask you about what we're making today, but I, I also want to talk about hot, hot olives and a little bit about your background. All it's right. fascinating. What are we making today? What are it we making? Great. Well, we're making a, a trout almondine with a robust vegetable couscous, nice. Israeli couscous, that is. All right. And uh, it's going to be wonderful today. Great. What about uh, telling us a little bit about yourself and how long you've been at Hot Olives? And, you know, you look pretty young to me, but um, I hear you've been in the business quite some time. I've been in the business just under eight years, actually. Uh, I've been with Hot Olives for two. Mm -hmm. A year and a half I've been running Hot Olives, uh, the kitchen, that is. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, we're, we're doing great things over there now. Simple really gourmet, are. you know, that's our tagline. Uh -huh. Fresh, seasonal, local ingredients. All natural. I love it. Is it hotolives.com? Hotolives.com. Hotolives.com. Take a, take a look at the website and go and visit them. Well, we want to get started because this looks fabulous. Well, let's you, get started. Simple gourmet is what we're all about. Cooking healthy, simple ingredients here, nothing complicated, nothing we can't get at a grocery store. Let's get started. All right. Well, uh, let's go ahead and get our water boiling for our okay. couscous. Uh, here we just have one cup of couscous. Mm -hmm. uh, to that, we're going to add one and a quarter cup of water. Okay. You mentioned this was Israeli couscous. What's the difference? Is Israeli between... couscous is more coarse than mm -hmm. uh, your traditional couscous. Traditional couscous is going to be more fine. Mm. Uh, it's personal preference, texture thing. You know, I like yeah. something bigger. I yeah. Can... Who wants mush? Yeah. Right. Not me. <laughs> uh, so let's go ahead and we'll just put this water in. You know, we're working with induction burners here, so this is going to heat up. A little bit faster than your traditional stove. Okay. And you already told us, but I interrupted you. How much water was that? That was one and a quarter cup. One and a quarter cup to? One cup. Of one cup of Israeli, Israeli couscous. Crazy. All right. All right. Well, What's while next? that's warming up over here, let's go ahead and cut some of our vegetables. All right. Uh, if you want to start with some uh, green peppers and red peppers, mm -hmm. you got your knife right here. Here. I'll take your knife for you. I'll take a knife and, and you tell me what to do and I'll follow you. How's that? All right. Well, if you just want to cut through this, mm -hmm. I should probably use your knife. Sure. <laughs> I'm we'll presuming go. a dice. A Small, dice. Small, medium. Absolutely. We're going to do a medium dice. Now, that's okay. going to be about the size of your finger now. You know, pick a thumbnail if you, okay. just, you can use that as a reference point. All right, and those are like really important things to have those knife skills and know what that, that is. They are. It's Just, uniform. you know, so it's uniform and looks pretty, right? Right, and everything cooks even as well. Cool. Uh, so you do the red peppers. I'll get over here with the zucchini and squash. Nice. Again, we're just going to medium dice this. Okay. I like to cut this way because Absolutely. it doesn't pull back on me. No, I don't trust myself sometimes, <laughs> you know? An Italian with you. knives, I am from, my family is from Sicily. No. It's not a nice thing to say. Don't don't tweet us about that joke, folks. <laughs> I'm Italian. I'm allowed to joke about it, right? That's it. So fresh vegetables. That's that's the key. That is the key. Not that there's anything wrong with frozen, but when we're using simple ingredients like this that don't really cost that much, right? Right? Why go frozen when Why, you can go exactly. fresh? Exactly. Why go frozen? You know, they say your nutrients are going to stay the same. They trap them as soon as they're frozen. Yeah, all that flash frozen them. cool stuff. Yeah, that's fine and all, but. I prefer fresh. Yeah. Fresh is definitely. You know what I do? Me. Let me tell you. I will like cut vegetables like this or even just slices like this and I'll put them in a, a, a pan all on one layer, freeze them like that. All right. And then once they're frozen, it's kind of like flash frozen. Right. So then they don't stick all together. You could gather them all up and then you have frozen sliced ready to go, right? There you go. Oh yeah. Clever. You know, you work during the week and you want to cook when mm -hmm. you get home and not do drive through. Exactly. I'll take any shortcut. I hear you. So we've got red and green pepper, and you're doing um, yellow squash and some zucchini. And some zucchini. Beautiful. We want to do green yes, as well? Absolutely. Okay. You know, now red peppers and green peppers, any kind of peppers, actually are, are uh, high in vitamin C. Yeah. Just as much as an orange. You know, if you Isn't that amazing? Orange, it's 
It's, it is. It's mind-boggling. Well, it's the whole fruit and vegetable thing, and the chicken and the egg. Which, which came first? <laughs> which came first? <laughs> <laughs> That's a whole another conversation. Yeah. So tell me, you've had um, a lot of experience in the restaurant industry um, and culinary school? Yes. Yes? I did. And um, what other um, places besides hot olives have? I attended uh, well, my culinary training I got from the Cordon Bleu in Orlando. Oh, neat. Uh, you know, it's a great school. It's a great school. You know, you learn a lot. They teach you everything you need to know, techniques and basic recipes. And it's, and it's right here in Orlando. And it's right here in Orlando. You know, it's, it's not even that expensive either. It's amazing. We have a lot of things right here in Orlando that a lot of people don't even know about. They don't you even know, know about. You really it. take advantage of that. Mm -hmm. See, now I'm a, a native, Florida native. I was born and raised here in Florida. Oh yeah. So. Yeah, me. Yeah, stepping. me too. Yeah, me too. Can you tell? Over here. Well, I'm from Brooklyn. Over here. <laughs> yeah. But um. So how am I doing? Is this a good medium dice? That's perfect. That's a perfect medium dose. I paid him to dose. say that. Even close enough. So we're just going to take these garlic. I have two cloves of garlic here. I'm just going to mince up. Mm -hmm. If you want, for your convenience, you can already get them minced up. You can already get garlic peeled, sure. whole cloves, or you can do the whole thing if you want and peel it I, yourself. I kind of like to buy the pre-peeled garlic. Yeah. It's just so much easier. See, and if you get the minced garlic that's already minced up for you, I mean, you're only limited to a certain amount of things you can do. You know, if I want sure. sliced garlic or whole garlic, what, all my applications now have to use minced garlic. So I go for the whole cloves as well. Okay, just easier. It is. So let's just remind everybody what we're making today. We're cutting up these vegetables for this beautiful couscous dish that mm. we're going to make. And our protein today will be? Protein is going to be trout, rainbow trout. Rainbow trout. And it's, it's interesting because I only just learned this. Rainbow trout is called rainbow trout, and Chef taught me this. I, I didn't know this. Because of the exterior, uh, the flesh, outside flesh of the fish, has that kind of iridescent look mm -hmm. to it. And there's a lot of different versions of trout. There are. There are many different versions of trout. I did not know that. Uh, more than you can provide on this show. Wow. <laughs> yeah, I mean, there's, there's just tons. You know, one species, they'll have 14 different varieties of a certain trout. Uh, and, and by regions, you know, they have, it, it plays an influence on the trout as well, the wow. species, so. Well, this is beautiful fresh trout, and we're going to take a look at that in a second. What's our next step before we even our start without step, trout? Uh, well, I just added the couscous. We bring your water up to a boil, mm -hmm. add your couscous, turn it down to a uh, simmer, okay. cover it on low. Every now, I added also to that a teaspoon of our blended oil. I use a blended oil, 75 olive, 25 canola. What's your primary reason for blending it? Primary reason for blending it, uh, the canola oil is, is all right. It's canola oil, but the olive oil has its own distinctive taste. Mm -hmm. And sometimes, you know, olive oil is great, but I don't want that whole olive oil flavor. Right. And so for this application, I chose to use the uh, blended oil. So um, for the fish, when we, when we do the fish, uh, I guess another good reason would be the high, the high temperature. temperature that canola takes versus First. olive oil, which burns quickly. Absolutely. Okay, Absolutely. I like that. Ooh, that garlic smells so oh, good. Yeah, it does. Excuse me for reaching there. Yeah. So we'll just stir this occasionally. You know, okay. we'll pop it up, stir it. Just we don't want any big clumps. We want mm -hmm. it all nice and even. Mm -hmm. And uh, so everything's chopped up here. We'll go over here and season our trout if you would like. Yeah, great. Here we have a fine grated sea salt. I like to use sea salt. It has a, a, its own unique flavor. Kosher salt is good as well. Yep. I hardly ever use table salt. Iodized. Me neither. I, I tend to just buy the, the coarse salt. And mm -hmm. besides, it makes me look like a chef <laughs> when I have this out in my house. Right. Bam, bam. And I, you know, salt and pepper that way. And this is fresh cracked black pepper. I cracked it today. Oh, I can actually smell that from here. From here, yeah, yeah. you can. And awesome. the, the flavor, you'll be able to taste it as well. I mean, black pepper in well, general. Well, it looks pink, you know? It looks pink. It, it looks, looks like, like salmon. salmon. We're gonna have salmon fillets today. That's so cool. I mean, I really didn't realize. Uh, anytime I've bought trout, it's been a white been flesh a white inside. Flesh. So I guess I've never again, purchased rainbow trout. Again, that's just another variety of trout. Wow. And then it cooks and it's. It cooks. White. And it's it's white. Yes, yeah. it's white. It's so like, it's not like salmon that really doesn't stay. Change color. Yeah. Uh, change color rather. Okay, cool. All right. So uh, while that's doing this, we can go ahead and heat up our pan here. What we got? On size high. All I right. still haven't mastered this stove, so yay, good for so you. Good luck, right? <laughs> Let's hope that's it. We can just turn them all on. Just 
<laughs> yeah, this is really neat, this induction cooking. It is. I mean, these heat up so fast, That's it's amazing. not even funny. It's good when you're in a hurry. Yeah. However, if you're not paying attention, you can yeah. burn some stuff real <laughs> right, quick. Right, real right, right. Real quick. Beautiful. And induction is good because usually you can just put your hand right oh, over I there. I didn't even realize that. Yeah. Induction's awesome. It heats up the plate inside the pan. It's a certain metal. Obviously, I don't have induction in my own <laughs> kitchen, or Neither I would know I. that. Neither do I. Uh, it's so So we'll cool, get our though. pan nice and hot. See, the, the trick is to get your pan nice and hot mm. before you add your oil. Because if you add your oil to your cold pan and then heat them up together, all the oil seeps down in the little pores in the pan. And stays there. And, stays, <laughs> and when you put your fish in, it's going to stick. Right. You're going to have a hard time trying to get it out of there. Some pieces are going to stick to it, and you'll have a big gash out of your fish. And that. Mm -mm. It doesn't really look appetizing. So hot pot, cold oil, it Food heats up, stick. and then you get that little ripple, and you know you're ready to That's go, it. right? That's it. <laughs> all right. So we're doing good. We're doing good. So this is trout almondine. Trout almondine. And I know that um, a lot of restaurants serve trout almondine, and there's traditionally a lot more fat involved in uh, cooking. But is. we're making it healthy, there right? Is. There's a lot of fat. Um, can I use any meat instead of a fish to make something like this? Would this Absolutely. almond application apply? Go on anything that you want. Okay. Anything you want to do. Chicken, beef, pork, any kind of different fish, salmon. You know nice. salmon's very popular. Yeah, I love salmon. You can do salmon almondine. Mm -hmm. I mean, almondine is just a sauce. It's nice brown butter with some mm -hmm. toasted almonds. I mean, the almonds just bring out the flavor in the butter, mm. and the butter brings out the flavor in the almonds. Love so it's a good little combination. Almonds. Okay. It's a good so, little combination. All right, so we get our pans hot here. Put some oil down. Okay, and there we go. There's your ripple. All right, this doesn't feel too hot. It still does not? Mm. Yeah, because we want to hear that sizzle. Yes. Okay. Well, as far as... I see that you also have some artichokes over here. I have here. artichokes. I have cilantro right here as well. How are the artichokes? Are those going to go in? These are, you can buy these in the grocery store. Mm -hmm. These are quartered, quartered. canned, canned pre-cooked. I guess mm -hmm. are they just get boiled. Them. They're just boiled. Okay. You can get them, you know, marinated in Italian seasonings right. or different right. seasonings. Yeah, you can get I like them to put my own seasoning on stuff. Olives or capers, or you can just get them plain. I like them plain because you know I like to use. Well, are my these going season. in just like this, or are we doing a more? Uh, just like that. We're going to heat okay. them up in the pan okay. towards the end of the cooking of the vegetables right before we set in our couscous. Okay, which is almost getting there. Which is almost getting there. Okay. You know, good way to test this out. How's our oil doing? Are we our ready to oil, put that fish in yet? It's looking hot. I'm hearing like uh, I'm popping. Hearing some sizzles. I'm thinking so too. I think we if if you if the pan's ready, the we, pan's can, ready, we can we can go. Roll. Let's ride out. Or should we start with our vegetables? I'm sorry, I'm probably no, going. No. A... Whatever. You know what? Let's get these going on. We can do them all at the same I could, time. You know, I could start. I could help. Beautiful. But you know, we don't want to miss anything. So mm -hmm. if you want to start with that, start with that. But let's get this nice and hot and ready for the vegetables. All right, here we go. We'll just take our nice little trout right here. Okay. You hear that? Yeah. Skin side up, yep. starting with skin the side up. Why is that? Side. The presentation side is always the side that you ah, want to start out with first. Okay. Because it gives it that first clean oil, nice sear, and it just cool. makes for a good showpiece. I like that. You now, since we don't have a really big pan, uh, I can only do one trout at a time. Sure. So we'll just go ahead and grease up this sheet tray. And, you know, it's so funny, I, I watch a lot of cooking shows, and I've also, I've noticed that when, when uh, people use really big pans and they put too much fish or protein mm -hmm. or whatever in it, it yeah. winds up steaming it, right? Yeah, you don't want to overcrowd your pot by any means. Right. So it, it's nice to do it one at a time nice, anyway. even cooking. Yeah. But I suppose if somebody wanted to, if they were maybe cooking for a family of four and they want to have all these pans going, mm -hmm. could they do this in the oven? Absolutely. How Absolutely. would you, you can convert bake it. that? Just um, give you a baking sheet, mm -hmm. grease it down, grease the fish down as well. A little salt, pepper, season it, whatever you want to season it with is fine. Okay. Uh, then you just toss it in the oven 400, about 8 to 10 minutes. And then would we do the, you would, would put we still it on do the skin? them? Okay, we you, do them skin side down then. Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. Cool. Just in case. You know, people are cooking for more than one or two. Right. All right, see this right here I'm using is a fish spatula. Yeah. And it works out really well. So it just, it's flexible. Boom. Beautiful. Look at that, golden brown. Beautiful. A nice little crust right there you got. Mm -hmm. The seasonings are all 
And blend I love it how into the fish. I love how it seals in um, the salt and pepper. It you does. know, it's, it's like it's not going anywhere it's now. Nowhere, it's not going anywhere. All right, next one down. You think this is hot enough for our veggies? No, we can always try. Put a, grab a little pepper. Toss them in there. A little bit of a sizzle. A little bit of sizzle. You know what? We're almost ready. Okay. Almost ready. I'm gonna gather them up so that when we're ready, I can dump them in. All right, let's pull this little guy back out. So we're gonna do the peppers first. All right. Why Obviously, is that? Obviously, they're gonna take a little bit longer to cook. Right. Zucchini and squash. You know, there's tons of water in here. Mm-hmm. And it's just so pretty. It is. So pretty. Beautiful colors. Mm-hmm. All right. You eat with your eyes first. That's it. Pretty colors. You want to go ahead and toss those um, sure. red and green peppers in there? Do you hear the sizzle? Love that oh, sound. Beautiful. That's how we know the pot's ready for us, right? That's right. Give it a little toss. All right, trout number two. Nice. Beautiful. Here we have our two trouts. It's a really thin piece of fish. Mm -hmm. Cooks really fast. Yeah, that's like, just like we said, in a matter of minutes, it's on the table. You could even pre-cook your vegetables if you wanted to. You could. You right? Very well could. That way you're just making the fish. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Sure. All right, so we got to turn this guy down. Turn it down to a medium heat. Okay. Uh, we'll season in layers. Okay. So we'll put a little bit of salt here. We're going to season these peppers, and then we'll season the squash. Okay. So we just want this to get a little bit softer before we put in the softer ingredients. Is, that, is that what we're looking at? That's right. Okay, cool. All right, see our... Okay. Mm. Smell it, smell that? We've got... Well, and I also oh, like the free yeah. facial. Thank <laughs> you, thank you very much. I love it. Um, we have about three to five minutes left, so... This is like real cooking time. Yeah, this so is, this in is about three to five minutes, five we're going to have a dish have ready a dish for the ready. table? Absolutely. Awesome. Absolutely. If you want to throw the this? garlic, we can throw the garlic in there. All right. Let's turn this guy back up. Okay. And why did we put the garlic second as opposed to right there in with the oil? Well, because the garlic, I have it minced there. Uh huh. I like small pieces of garlic. I don't want to have nice big chunks. Uh, and it's going to cook a lot faster than those peppers are. Oh, I see. So we may have burned it if we put the garlic in first. Absolutely. And once the garlic starts burning and getting brown, yeah. then it's going to start tasting bitter. Yeah. yeah. Although I have a funny story. My grandmother, who was really the best cook, These things are still on, she right? lived in the same um, house. And if she burned the garlic, we all smelled it, you know, coming up the house. But she was the best cook ever. So I don't know. Maybe her trick was burned garlic. I don't know. Just saying. All right. I think our couscous is probably going to be ready. Great. Got a spoon anywhere? Yep. Are we ready for? Um, we are ready. Good. We can toss these artichokes in. Sorry, you can toss them in at the same way. time. I'm just going to cross behind All you. All right. Let's go ahead and put in our zucchini and squash. Put in our artichokes. You're kidding me. And some cilantro. Thank you. It's about a tablespoon of cilantro. Oh, that's a good spoon. Okay. What can I help you with? Anything? Uh, yes, as a matter of fact, we're going to have to toast our almonds. Okay. We're going to toast it in this pan. Okay. I don't know how to get these little things to come back on. <laughs> well, that's not cool. Yeah. Technical difficulties. It's overheated. Here we go. Now the power's on. All right. There we go. Beautiful. Okay. Hi. Let's toast our almonds over a medium heat. When they get nice and golden brown toasty, then we'll add our butter into it. See, it's a low-fat butter, too. You don't always have to go for the whole butter. You can get, uh, you know, a mixture of uh, olive-blended oil or butter. Okay. Uh, here, you see, you smell these almonds toasting right now? Mm-hmm. We'll just go ahead. Now, this is for two orders. You smell it. You smell it? Oh man, that smells good. And that's not a whole lot of butter because that's no. what, two it's, servings we made? Mm -hmm. It's about a tablespoon per. Okay, that's a great. Tablespoon and a half. Are we going to do anything with this beautiful over here? Because to uh, me, that's just. That's, that's a lot of flavor, you know? Yeah. We could just dump all that right over there if you want. I mean, uh, that would make for a good flavor, you know? That's what? probably something I would do. Let's do it. All right. Let's do it. Okay. Let's do it. <laughs>
deglaze the pan. Usually, you yeah. know, deglaze it with. Uh, I mean, there's all that a flavor wine over there. A little chicken stock or something. Uh huh. But um, oh, that's perfect. And we still Here. have a and we still have a sizzle. Oh, How about that? Yeah. That's beautiful. So we have our couscous here. I'm just gonna toss a little oil just so it doesn't stick. All right. Yeah. Huh? Right? You know how you practice this? How do you Somebody practice? else's house because <laughs> <he's> practicing <laughs> it goes everywhere. Then we'll just empty our couscous right on top. Okay. Give that a toss. And then we'll stir it around. Wow. Oh, that looks great. So look at that. We didn't have to drain that. It just all it absorbed all that it water. Does. And um, I suppose we could have even, instead of water, used chicken stock for right? additional have. flavor, right? Absolutely. Absolutely. Let it all absorb in that. This is beautiful. Yeah, a little salt, a little pepper. Look how easy we did that, folks. And look at the color on those almonds. How beautiful is that? We're going to wrap up. Um, I do want to talk about uh, our next show, which is May 30th, with chef and feature writer of the Educated Palette, Scott Richardson. Do want to... Thanks, Chef John, for coming today. We're going to wrap this up and plate. Yeah, let's but plate it on. Don't want you to forget, folks, you can make this. We just made this live in, live. in what, 20 something minutes and really didn't take too long. You want to just apply some of that couscous right on our plate? Sure. Mm, man, it smells Get good. Get a little bit of everything. Oh, it smells what so would you good. say is about a portion? Is that about right? Yeah, I'd say that's about right. Okay. Any more than that, and it's just. Binge eating. Well, I might just <laughs> binge eat. There you go. And then we'll just put our little trout right on top of there. You can go for the recipe here uh, for everything that we've made today and, and anywhere else to luncheandlearnlive.blogspot.com. And don't forget luncheandlearnlive.com. Lunch and Learn Live comes to you about once a month. So check uh, the blog, the blog spot for um, information on our next shows. Beautiful. Oh my gosh, clean up look the at plate. this. True chef, clean up Voila. the plate. Definitely not like a busy mom, you know? <laughs> <laughs> but that's just gorgeous. Let's show that. Wow, thank you so much. As I mentioned earlier, we never have any leftovers, so I, I, I'm just going to be the first one to dig in dig if in. I can. <laughs> Absolutely. By all Sorry, means. guys, I get the first taste. Please do the honors. I'm going a little bit, everything in one bite. Wow, you should smell that. Mm. Seal of approval. Wow. That is packed with flavor. Packed. Oh my gosh. It's, it's And amazing. with so little butter, you really taste that butter. The flavors really marry together well. The almond flavoring that butter as mm -hmm. well. Well, this is awesome. We're going to share this with the rest of the crew now. I want to thank Chef John once again thank for you. coming with us today. Remember, the next show is May 30th. LunchandLearnLive.com. Get your recipes at LunchandLearnLive.blogspot.com. Thanks, everybody, for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.